Welcome to Journals of the Classes. In this supplemental series, we will dive into each D&D class and their corresponding subclasses. This week's episode is... Ranger! Hey! <laughs> Which, uh, fun fact, is what I would be. You would be a ranger? I would be a, I've taken several tests and I'm a ranger. I like nature. I can, I, I like archery. I just don't think you should label yourself like that. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, why, why pick? Well, just, I mean, why just say, "Hey, I took all these tests and I'm a ranger." You can be anything ranger, you want. Well, well, I mean, I'm just saying, like me as a person. Mm, you a person. Yeah. Like that's what you're most. That's what I'm most similar to. Oh. In my, I really like, like nature. I mean, I could be a druid. I think if I took it, I just it, don't know about the animal thing. I think if I took it, that it would probably blow the machine up. <laughs> I'll substitute. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Hey, if the internet goes down later, guys, <laughs> it's on him, not on me. I did say that I think I would break it. <laughs> I, I had fair warning. <laughs> I'm sorry to everyone. <laughs> sorry to... Anyway, today's episode is Ranger. <laughs> All right, Ranger! <laughs> like, hey, come on, let's range, Ooh. people. Ranger. <laughs> I feel like... I should seem like some sort of like, get along there, little doggies, and stuff, because you know that. But that's more cowboy than ranger, so we're just. We're not talking about on. Texas Rangers, we're just talking about rangers. Anyway, rangers. <laughs> Warriors of the wilderness, rangers specialize in hunting the monsters that threaten the edges of civilization. They are expert trackers focused on the grim task of controlling the borderlands. The borderlands. I've never played this game. That makes me think of uh, the Madonna song, Borderline. No? Yeah. You all can just, like, hum that in your head while we're yeah. doing this. Right. So. Our first subclass is Beastmaster. Valoring their animal companions, these rangers are united in focus. Beast and ranger fight the monsters that threaten civilization and the wilderness alike. Hello! Hello! I think, I, that was like great timing. That I, was perfect I, 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 think, I think my beast command is trying to come out. <laughs> yeah, your beast is like, well, oh. oh. <laughs> anyway. All right, let's go to Drake Warden. I feel that's like that's one. like a boy band. Drake, Drake Warden. Warden. <laughs> no, All sorry. I ever wanted. That's a member of a boy band. Drake <laughs> Warden. True. Which is actually an Allen. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bonded to a draconic spirit, these rangers can manifest a dragon that they can eventually ride into battle, spitting fire on an unsuspecting city. We're looking at you, Daenerys. We're looking at you. Do you hear the bells? Do you? Is it too soon? You deserved it. And I hope that's not how the books end. You're hearing me, George? I know you watch this. I mean, George said that that was. He said that broad strokes are there. He didn't say that it happens exactly that way. Well, I mean, if that's and a... there are characters that are in the books that are not in the show that can impact the end of the the thing. So, Fey Wanderer, <laughs> a ranger imbued with Fey magic, these warriors brighten the hearts of the downtrodden and strike terror into their foes. For great is the mirth of the Fey, and dreadful. I just, I just picture, what's her name? Gal Galadriel? Gal Galadriel? Galadriel. Galadriel. I don't Galadriel. know why I say her name wrong. Every time. <laughs> it's okay. I do. But it, that's, that's, that is exactly who I think of. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't think she would be that at all. Oh, no. Like, but, she would, I mean, but that's just who I picture. Like, yeah. When, you know. So. <laughs> well, right. I mean, she's a fae, technically, I guess. Gloom Stalker. This one's going to be fun. <laughs> Uh, where the dark of night touches the mortal world is where these rangers can be found. Combating the servants of darkness and using their power to empower themselves. Why is there always like a really edgy one for every class? Well, you gotta have an edge lord. 
right? I mean, who, like, you know, you gotta have your punk rock people. <laughs> Horizon Walker. I get Gloomstalker and you get Horizon Walker. How is that fair? <laughs> Not to go all Wanda on you, but how is that fair? <laughs> that just doesn't seem fair. It just doesn't seem fair. Guarding against extraplanar threats, these rangers are friends to the multiverse, but also powerful foes to those entities who seek its demise. Question. <clears throat> I have a question. Good. Okay. Like the small bananas planar? Like like other planes of existence, like Oh like Wild. Oh, uh oh, oh. Like hell. Oh, okay. Well, no, I know. So, like, other planes yeah. of existence, not, like, plantains. Uh, no, I mean, they probably wouldn't like plantains either. I don't know who does, but, you know. I don't know. They're kind of cool. Hmm. Grilled, they're really good. Hunter. The quintessential ranger. They act as a bulwark between the people they protect and the terrors of Ooh. the wilderness. They use their magic to combat their quarry and ensure that none can hurt the lands they guard. <laughs> They may also be an heir to an ancient kingdom in disguise, but we don't know. Again, I say, damn you, Isildur. <laughs> Monster Slayer! Hunters of vampires, dragons. Buffy. Buffy. Evil fae, Buffy. fiends, and Buffy. other magical threats. Buffy. They are empowered by dark magic to deal with these threats and their morals only extend so far as their swords. So, toss a coin to your chosen one, <laughs> O oh, Valley of Plenty, O oh, Valley of Plenty. Oh, oh Sunny oh. Dale. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, it is more it's Witcher more Geralt, but... than it is Buffy, because Buffy did have morals, and she really only used a sword occasionally. So, I mean, I'm just saying. Monster Slayer? <laughs> Pretty Buffy. Alright. Alright. Swarm Keeper. Every time we do one of these, it's like my nightmares come to life. I swear there's going to be a spider one at some point. It's inevitable at this point. I am... I'm close. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if there's a scorpion or, or a cave cricket one, I'm You're not I'm making this any better now. I'm just saying what my fears are. <laughs> this is not helping my anxiety. <laughs> All right. Swarm Keeper. Masters of vast swarms of nature spirits. These rangers are often outcasts that seek to embody the very basic core of nature and keep its precarious balance. Bees! Pocket bees! Pocket bees! <laughs> this may be too niche a reference, but this this immediately makes me think of Sarah from uh, Dragon Age, because she has the bees. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, there's, like, there's several. Like, there was a, uh, a girl on Smallville that mm -hmm. was, like, the bee queen or something, and right. so she did that, so there was a swarm thing. So it's, or, it's a common... Or the it's... beekeeper from WandaVision. Oh, yeah... The beekeeper of old. See, he brings up MCU. I bring up DC. I'm just saying that I like them both. I'm just, and if you look behind us, it's a lot of DC behind us. It's a lot of Wonder Woman. Oh, uh, uh, no, I don't even see it. Yeah. And you know, I just love that we ended it on Swarm Keeper. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's it, folks. We so, just love to end them on such a high note. Such a happy, cheery note. <laughs> I've been Shadu. I have been Grey Girl. And we will see you on the next episode of Journals of the Classes. Bye! Bye.